Hey everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush. We are once again back in the studio producing these, hopefully on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, and we're going to be showing you some more tips, tricks, and art created using Tilt Brush. But our big announcement is we're actually switching officially to Open Brush. That's right, Open Brush has been officially released for Steam VR through Steam. It is free for use, and it's using the most recent build of Tilt Brush as its source. But this is the new system that they're going to be using to expand and add new features. So we're going to be using our series officially switching us over to the Steam VR version of Open Brush. Now it's important to know that everything we've done before and everything we will continue to do is compatible with the various versions of Tilt Brush and the various forks that have come out since they went open source. We're just doing mostly basic stuff unless we note where it's going to be specifically for one fork or another. We do hope to do some more with a multi-brush fork. Since they're not combined with open brush just yet, we are planning on doing some separate episodes with that as well. But for today, we're going to look at the Steam version of open brush and what makes it different from tilt brush and the other forks. And really, there is one major difference, the introduction of a new tool called Fly. With the Fly tool, no 80s, 90s jargon reference, please, the Fly tool is a transport tool. So instead of teleporting or moving by moving the scenery, when you choose Fly, your main paintbrush is now a pointer, and you will fly in that direction. So it gives you some very smooth movement, some very smooth motion, and can be a very fun way to explore various large paintings and environmental uh, tilt brushes. Now it is fully compatible with the old tilt brush, so you can move your original tilt files into open brush and then fly around them and experience your landscapes like a bird. You will need to turn that tool off when you're ready to go back to painting. It is considered one of your primary tools. So as you're using Tilt Brush, it's not part of the Quick Tools, but we can use the Fly tool to move around and experience paintings like we haven't been able to before. Now, another key thing to bear in mind at this point in the game, we are broadcasting at the end of June 2021. Google Poly is going away. Poly was a wonderful tool we had for uploading and sharing files, and as of July 30th, it will officially be no more. So if you're watching this in the last few moments of July of June, uh, June 30th, uh, now is the time to make sure everything is out. Fortunately, the people behind uh, the people behind OpenBrush, the team called Icosa, they are making something called Icosa Gallery as a replacement for Poly. Right now, it is not tied directly to OpenBrush, but as they develop it, it's still in beta, it will be a thing that's out there. You can actually look at it by going to beta.icosa, let's spell it out here, since I can type quickly, beta, is that backwards to you? That's backwards to you. Beta.icosa.gallery, yeah, that's backwards. That is an actual link, we'll include the link in the description below, to the beta version. It's not complete, it's not perfect, but it's allow, gonna allow you to see what they're working on as far as doing a clone of Poly where we can publicly share our various tilt brushes. Icosa is connected uh, to Sketchfab. Sketchfab was recently added to Tilt Brush itself, and Open Brush is connected. So if you do, that's backwards again, if you do want to include your stuff at Sketchfab, 
OpenBrush will directly connect, allow you to upload and download to your account. So the accounts in OpenBrush will connect to all these previous resources. If this goes live soon enough and you have enough time, you can even get into Poly to download things, but it's better off to start with Sketchpad or wait for Icosa Brush, Icosa Gallery, as a way to share tilt brushes. But there are still free public resources both through both Tilt Brush and through OpenBrush. Another reason I'm using OpenBrush is it is, works with a system called Live, which is how I do these mixed reality, how I can move in and out of my picture here as part of the camera, external camera view into the painting. OpenBrush has that built in, so if you want to do your own mixed reality videos, this is all compatible right out of the gate for free through Steam and Steam VR. We'll be doing some more as we go. We're now back from our hiatus. Our teaching schedule has gone back into our public classes here. So join us each week here at uh, Shameless Mayhem. Feel free to subscribe. We're gonna be releasing these. Uh, uh, most of them are gonna be either tool tips or art episodes. So let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to learn how to paint or see us paint, because we're gonna be going away from technical tools and more into some fun art classes here online. That's it for this time. Just a welcome back, and we're going to have some fun using Icosa's Open Brush, fully compatible with everything Tilt Brush. Have fun, everybody, and we'll see you soon.